The Commission of Inquiry into Land Matters has today heard from the former head of the Land Division of the High Court, Justice Wilson Kwesiga, and the division's current head, Justice Andrew Bashaija. The judges appeared before the Commission to elaborate on the roles of the judiciary and the challenges they face in ensuring that Ugandans who have land disputes get justice. During the interaction with the Commission, Justice Andrew Bashaija said Article 26 of the Constitution does not require amendment in order to facilitate government's acquisition of private land as has been proposed by Cabinet. No one can stop government from compulsory acquiring land and evicting people from that land. The law and the Constitution allows government. However, the law does not allow government to compulsory acquire that land on its own terms. There must be an arbiter. There would be no need for amendment or touching Article 26. There should be a debate only on the laws to implement Article 26. The head of the High Court's Land Division also added that since the Land Amendment Act 2010 was assented to, there have been more land evictions in the country since the Act does not facilitate the harmonious existence of landowners and tenants. People who were tenants of the landlord all of a sudden now became landlords in themselves by virtue of this Act. So the landlord was threatened. So I would rather we repeal the Land Amendment Act of 2010, and then we revert to the other relationships which existed before the Land Amendment Act. Both Justice Bashaija and Justice Kwesiga agreed that the judiciary is suffering from a shortage of manpower to handle land-related disputes. They added that the backlog had been made worse by the delay in electing local council leaders who would have handled the smaller cases in local council courts without the need for referral to the High Court, as is the case today. Since the last local council elections in 2001, no further elections of local councils have been conducted. Yet, local, council, local councils constitute the courts of local council one and two levels and are also instrumental in land transactions. The judges also called for caution in the issuing and enforcement of eviction court orders. And then there's also the execution orders that are very um, interesting. Execution orders given um, against, let's say, government buildings. I think in the last week we heard about the Minister of Gender being uh, attached. Gentlemen, you appreciate that um, there are so many court orders that are made from different courts all over the country. Some may be accurate, some may not be accurate. The judges said they would like all Ugandans to take an interest in existing land laws because ignorance of the law is one of the factors that has led to land grabbing and delays in justice.